Let's see how do you account for incomes. You've already seen how you account for sales. Let's take a couple of income. Let's say you have interest received from bank or let's say from X then you have commission received in cash and then there could be a host of other incomes that could be there so the first thing is you received interest from the bank now when bank gives you a credit for interest your bank balance obviously goes up so the two accounts involved here are interest bank or interest and X so when you get the interest from the bank your balance in the bank goes up bank is an asset increase in an asset is to be what debited so you debit the bank by 100 to the other account is interest interest is what income so when you get interest your income is increased whenever the income is increased it has to be credited right now instead of bank if X would have paid you interest then I mean if he has paid you then obviously you would have received cash or check so instead of bank you will have cash but if it is not paid but let's say X accrues interest then what does this mean I have a receivable from X X is my debtor X is an asset so the balance from X increases therefore I debit X by 50 and I credit interest for the same reasons as I discussed with you here by 50 second is commission received in cash which are the accounts involved commission account cash account when you receive commission in cash you receive cash cash is an asset increase in an asset is to be debited two why did you receive this cash you received it on account of commission so the commission account is the other account which is involved here commission is what an income account here and when an income account is there increase in the income account is credited so you credit the commission account by 200 okay so that's the way you make entries for incomes